So in one of our previous chapters, we had talked about tags. A tag is a key value pair that you can associate with your organization, your folder, or a project. Now using tags, you can conditionally allow or deny policies based on whether a resource has that particular tag. Now the link to that particular video I'll give in the description below. So you can just check that out. Now there's also another concept called labels, which is also a key value pair. Now label is a key value pair that helps you organize your Google Cloud instances. Now you can attach a label to each resource and then filter based on that particular label. Now information about that label can also be used in your billing system. Now let's see how this works. So let's go to our GCP console. Let's go to our virtual machine. So here I've created two instances and one of these instances has a label. Now to assign instance labels to an instance, you can assign them after you've created that particular instance. All that you need to do is you just need to click on show info panel and you can just select your particular instance and click on labels. And here you can see that I have assigned a key value pair of app, my app. Now this can be anything. So this is basically stating that my this particular instance is associated with my application called my app. You can also associate it with other things like your cost or even your environment. So let's say that you have instance two and you want to assign instance two to a uh, environment. So So let's click on this and let's add a label to our instance. So let's go to your labels here, click on add label. And all that I need to do is I just need to give my environment. And let's say this is a prod environment. So I can just give this as prod and click on save. Now, and now it becomes easy to filter based on these particular labels that you've given. So just click on hide label. So all that I need to do now is I can just filter it based on these labels. So let's say I need to filter based on which of my instances are part of production. So let's go to your labels. And all that I need to do is I just need to search environment and it will come in the drop down as well. And here I have filtered based on this particular label. Now labels can also be used in other resources. If you go through this particular page and if you go to the bottom, you can see all the services that support labels. So it includes most of the important ones. So it, it includes things like Cloud Spanner, SQL, Storage, Compute Engine, etc. So let's try this out also for one of the other services. So let's go to our Cloud Function. And here you can see that I have a Cloud Function. Function. So what I'll do is to add your label to your Cloud Function, you can just tick on this and you can add label. So there's already a cloud function label that gets added. You can also add another one. So let's click on app and let's call this as my app as well. So this particular function, I also want to associate with my application called my app. Let's click on save. Now the important thing to remember is that these labels come in handy, especially for your billing. So let's go to our billing. So here in our billing reports, you can actually filter it based on our particular labels that we've given. So what I'll do is, so what I'll do is let me filter it based on that particular label. Now the first thing is you can group by a project. So let's group by not by the project, but by the service. You can also group by the label as well, but that's something you can try it out on your own. So let's group by the service and let's select all the projects, all the services and all the SKUs. And here you can actually select that label that you want. So here let's search, put the key as app. So this is the key for a key value pair. And let's select the values. So here, what you need to select is basically my app. And you can see that currently the cost involved with my application called my app is zero because I'm running a free tier version of my compute engine. So this is how you can use your labels in checking out your uh, reports, your cost reports. So I hope this was a useful lecture. If you have any doubts, please get in touch with me. I'll see you in the next.